And Travis, we've been looking forward to this one. Let's just hope that this final delivers. Oh, oh how about that for starters? Wow. Well, there we go. The game has come to life, Travis. They are just roaring like that. It's so fun when you have an atmosphere. Like a couple errors, a couple miss serves. I'd expect it to be a little bit nervy up through the technical timeout before everyone settles in. Good blocking. Attempt at recovery, but called for the carry. The net. Simon, it, watching Andre and George. Cracking swing. Lovely pass and a good set as well. Just a straight up and down. And that's some swing through the block from uh, Yusuf Krupp. Well, when you have 40% of the points coming off Andre blocks and you're still attacking the block of Andre, one, that shows how much respect they have for George and they're not going after him, but that is a... <laughs> Beach volleyball is so much about matchups and this is a very tough matchup for him. Andre has about four inches on him and, and George just has that brilliantly fast arm swing, but an excellent get out of jail free card swing right there from Krupp. Not bad from the oldest man on court, 33-year-old. They're going to need all the support they can get. Oh, I love it. The boldness. I love it. <laughs> well, it's one thing talking the talk. Could have done a little bit better of a job managing the risk on that one. When it's not a perfect set, you can't try to hit a perfect swing. They go back to George, having made the hitting error. That's a lovely late touch from Crew. But that is just too good from Andre. See if there's any call. Kind of a fade away set from George, but the perfect dig he has made in this set already. We're not even at the tech, and that is a lovely, lovely serve. Right back to the crowd he goes, Simon. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Ace up. Four-point lead. Looking good. The omens are good here at the start of the men's final. And the Brazilian number one seeds with a decent lead here already. <laughs> oh, don't, don't do that. Oh my goodness. His approach from just a couple feet in front of the end line and the... Just a little shorter than his defensive partner. We've already had that today in the men's bronze medal final with the defender taller Diaz. <laughs> Not too many. But it went the number one seeds way. And they also played a very good game against the Capogrosso boys of Argentina. But it's also been nice, Travis, to see a few different names. He just, there's no shortage of confidence from him. He's up against George and Andre in Brazil. Doesn't matter. And how about that dunk block from Andre? My goodness. Point France. They're after Yusuf Crew. Giving him the bird before the serve. And he gets his block. Yes. There is more than one way to skin a cat, as they say. Side of the body block, you can see the double up in the line by Yusuf Crew. We saw Gautier wheeling around into that line, and Crew just an excellent read there on George. Beautiful. Absolutely fabulous. And that shot was perfection from George Wanderley. And again. He's already nailed an ace to that exact point. He's nailed it again. Getting roughed up towards the end of this first set. They change up to Gautier. Oh, that's a good swing. That's a very good swing. He is twice the player he was then. Here is that sky ball that he has been hit when he's been down a little bit. That's the way to deal with it. Comes back with interest from George. Andre. Trying to finish in style. Another great piece of ball control from the French. And a wonderful roof block to finish. Oh, lights out on the monster shutdown. 21-16, Brazil leading the championship match. Andre is a dynamic peel digging blocker and still able to beat that with a lot of heat. Good swing. That's one of my favorite commentary moments from many, many years ago. A big spike so we had <laughs> and there's another Fortaleza all the way through the match it was brilliant well whatever you want to call it Andre's turning it on right now he didn't have much of a choice two option maybe a different option could have been uh, the better decision but it, it was the pass wasn't there nice work again and Yusuf Cruz as we mentioned the elder statesman 
So potential, just a lot of wear and tear, a lot of jumps from a blocker and a guy who gets served a ton. Great dig in the pocket there and a very good swing. I, I like what I'm seeing from Arno Gautier at this tournament. Been trying to take their spot with Remy Bassro and Julian Laniel, giving them a little extra motivation. They have something to prove now. Again, good dig on the angle. Can he finish? Not quite. Oh, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. From uh, as far as I can remember, every point of this match. Again, a little bit of pressure on this, but a very good high bump set right in the window. On Cruz, so Cruz going to have to be careful. Nice serve, what a pass. <laughs> it's just too clever. And that's nice. That's really nice to see. That's uh, two players that have given their all at this tournament. Better luck next time. And another one. It's classic from George. He doesn't expend energy a lot. The ball teams in the world to watch it as they just get their feet to every single set and still find a way to bring themselves back in system. Easy pick off from George who bumps it up. It's a bit of showboating now. Circus time in Itapema. Doesn't look great at the moment for France. But I would suggest that that is the least of the concerns. short serve he's going to go option but he doesn't get anything on it at all George is all over that that's brilliant it's real hard from Yusuf Crew to go after that ball but France here are getting taken to pieces it's just kind of injured mentally and emotionally they are just keeping the pressure on oh, those short serves must hurt crew he's got no runway absolutely no runway and he's just been shut down for fun there by Andre and Brazil they are the runaway train right now, 10 points away from a third straight Itapema gold medal. Gets it through this time. A lot of positive takeaways for France, and they still have a little bit of match left, but it's just looking more and more unlikely. There we go, ball under control, plenty of height from Andre. Indefatigable Herrera and Guevara of Spain by two sets to one in the quarterfinals. And then went on to win against Diaz and Alea in Cuba. It's a crazy record for the number one seeds. Option is dug, but not quite into play. Yeah, absolutely beautiful from George. And uh, it's, this is just too good at the moment from the number one seed. Didn't find any with Alvaro, didn't find any with, with Vinicius. Now struggling with the young Arthur Mariano and Simone and Vinicius, speaking to them, Men's Federation is in a bit of a, a bit of turmoil at the moment, but I'd expect that there's a time for them to find their feet. This month is it, where they're going to have wild cards into the main draw next week in Soccer Arena. They'll have wild cards into the main draw of Ubalangia to finish the month. This one is nearly done and dusted. The gold medal is on its way to Brazil and on its way to George and Andre for a third consecutive time here and they're pulling everything out. Oh my goodness me, that's crazy beach volleyball. And what else, what else can you expect from George right now? And somewhere back home or somewhere in Brazil, Theo <laughs> Brunner and Trevor Crabb are saying, man, that win in Tepic looks really good right now. Absolutely right. Well, it's a terrific sky ball. This will be one of the comebacks of the century from France from here. It's on. It's on, Travis. I also love some good beach volleyball. That was a tremendous move by Gautier. A nice little baby line shot there from Gautier. Good serve from Crew. George under a bit of pressure here and then... Andre finds the swing off another cracking set. No, just going to lollipop it over. He's after the big block. He gets it. It's all over. It's three in a row for the Kings of Interpema. George and Andre win here in Brazil. 
two sets to nil over Yusuf Crew and Arnaud Gautier-Ra. Maximum points for the number one seeds.